Hi guys. We got, you can't even see. You don't even know what it is. Hooters, baby. We got Hooters. We're in Vegas. I had this idea. I was like, oh my God, Maddie, like let's do a mukbang. But let's do a Hooters mukbang in the Hooters hotel. So we're in the Hooters hotel right now. Do another mukbang. I put this little like sparkly moment on for you guys. Get in the Vegas spirit. You already know what's going on. First of all, disclaimer, it is currently raining outside. I'm talking like pouring, not fully pouring right now, but it is like raining. And so there's a lot of wind and like, you know, going on. So if you can hear it, I think this window is like broken because I see a crack in it. Um, so you might be, you might, you might hear that a little bit, but you know, it's fine. I had to literally wait for this food for over. Guys, tell me why the Hooters hotel, like the Hooters in the hotel. Why is it so slow? I just, I'm really, when I tell you there was three tables in the restaurant, Babe, I worked at a restaurant, okay? I know the time. I know the time. And like, if we're busy, I know how much it takes. Like, finally, after 35 minutes, I went up there and I was like, hey, <laughs> hey, girl. How much longer? Like, how much, like, can you tell your cooks to hurry the fuck up or give me an apron, bitch? And I will go back there and cook my own fucking food, okay? I'm um, hoping that we're in focus. I also got a drink downstairs, Crush Orange. First thing that we got. So let's hope they gave me everything that I wanted. Oh, yeah, girl. These are the pretzels. Okay, the next thing that I got is. Okay, these are the buffalo chicken sliders. They better put my ranch in this one because if they didn't stick my four ranches, then we're gonna have an issue. They gave me a ranch. I have to go back downstairs. <gasps> because why I gotta go downstairs like this in a fucking robe in my slippers? Very fucking confused because the amount of people that are starting to go in now. I'm like, dude, what's going on? The manager's lollygagging, literally on his phone. Like, sir, go pick up a table and go take somebody's order. Anyway, so we got our ranches. The four motherfucking ranches, bitch, that I paid for. One dollar each, ho. Four dollars right here. Girl. Guys, my dress is literally like falling off of me. So you know what I have to do right now? I don't have a clip or anything. I have to take this little clip from the light. Okay, you guys. Let's pray to God. Let's pray to God that we're in... We're in focus, all that stuff, girl. We don't even know at this point. Let me just tap on the camera on my face. You guys can oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, so let's do a rundown of what we got. We got these pretzels with a cheese sauce. Then we got these mozzarella sticks with marinara. And then, girl, we got these buffalo chicken sliders with fries. I was gonna get boneless wings, but honestly, I was like, damn. I think I'm in like a slider mood or something. I'm actually starving. We're gonna do a mozzarella stick. No cheese bowl. That's a tragedy. A little marinara. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was really excited for this though. The little buffalo chicken ciders, looks so cute. It's like a little like nugget, I'm gonna dip that. Guys, the camera keeps falling. Why is the camera falling? Okay, how long was that falling for? And I did not know. Mm. I gotta say y'all, this food was over $50, so we're doing this mukbang. This ain't gonna be no mother. It ain't gonna be no fail, girl. I'm spending fifty dollars on this for it to be a fail mukbang, girl. So, mm. okay, y'all. Yeah. This really redeems it. This really redeems it. Got some curly fries. Mmm, pretty good actually. Okay, we gotta try this cheese dip. But these fucking green onions freak me the fuck out. No, girl. Like, what the literal fuck would make you think to top these nasty ass green onions? I'm a pretzel and cheese kind of girl. Mmm. Okay. I'm glad to see you, girl. I'm glad to see you. I'm addicted to the Buffalo Wild Wings pretzels. You guys know I had those? Girl. These are so good, though. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right, at least the food's good, guys. We had some annoyances. There was three people sitting in the restaurant. It took 45 minutes to make my to-go order. Kind of confused, honestly, but it's okay. Everybody has those days. Mmm. Mmm. Gross. These little buffalo ciders. 
If you never tried them, get them. They're literally like a boneless wing, but with bread. And y'all know that my favorite thing ever is bread. I love bread. I got this string. Thank God. My phone is like going off right now. Sorry, I have to like do not disturb it because the family group chat is going a little cray. My best friend just texted me and I totally put my phone on do not disturb and she's probably gonna think that like her text message annoyed me or something. We're filming, girl. Anyways, guys, hi. Like I said, we're at the Hooters Hotel in Vegas. So, I'm here because my sister is going to a concert. And so I was like, damn, I could fill in some look bombs in Vegas so I came along. But I got here yesterday, guys, yesterday was so annoying. It's a lot of little things. Okay, I'm just gonna complain to you guys because I feel like you guys are my best friends and like, if I was on FaceTime, I haven't FaceTimed my friend and told her all my annoying experiences yet, so I'm doing it to you guys first. It's little things, but I tell you, I know that there's people dying in this world and there's bigger problems, okay? But this is my channel and I'm like, you guys are my besties, so I need to rant to you. It's like a long day after work, you get the vibe. Anyways, so, I'm supposed to go to the airport yesterday, so I went to the airport yesterday. So I'm packing and I kind of like, I sort of like last minute packed because I was just like, I don't know, I've been feeling like very, very ill the last couple days. So, it's time to go to the airport and whatnot, right? Literally cannot find my cell phone anywhere. I'm like, I just have my phone. Literally cannot fucking find my phone anywhere. Cannot find it anywhere. Problem about me. That was weird. Problem about me. I keep my phone on do not disturb. 24-7. I also keep all of my notifications turned off. Um, I don't like people to bug me. Anyways, so because that was on there, we couldn't find the phone. I'm searching for it for like 20 minutes. I'm ripping my suitcase apart. Why is it in my carry-on at the very, very bottom of the bag? Like, okay. Annoyance number one. Then... Wait, I think I want this one because this chicken looks really good. And then, girl, I found a phone. Whatever, we get in the car. Oh, beautiful, gorgeous, fine. We're in the car, cool. I'm the way to the airport. I'm like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I know I'm forgetting something. I was already, like, panicked prior because <clears throat> I didn't unpack for my last vacation. So my clothes were sitting there for a little bit. <laughs> and so... I had to fully unpack the suitcase and then pack my suitcase for here in like an hour. Again, like I'm saying, like first of all, I know, I know, girl. Anyways, so yeah, I get to the airport. And I'm like, dude, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I'm forgetting something because like we're only here for a couple days and I cannot pack for a couple days. Like I pack for like weeks. Like I'm about to go fucking move somewhere, you know. So why step out the car? Why step out the car? And I realized what I forgot. I forgot my laptop charger and my phone charger. Am I okay? Am I okay? Please tell me. Am I okay? I'm like, okay. It's okay because I brought my portable charger. I have this portable charger that is the best fucking thing ever in the entire world that I've ever literally spent my money on. I use it every single day and it's worth every fucking penny. It's linked on my Amazon. If you guys need a good portable charger, it is expensive and like the price is probably gonna be like, oh, shock you guys. It shocked me and it took me an entire year. No, actually not even an entire year. Two and a half years to buy this portable charger. And I don't know why I waited so long because it was so expensive. It's like $100. Like, stop texting me. I put this shit on to certain motherfuckers. This is like notifying anyway. Bitch, no. What was I going to say? I don't even know what the fuck I was going to say. Oh, so I forgot my computer charger. I forgot my laptop, right? I'm like, okay. Brought the portable. That's where we're at. Okay. Brought the portable and I was like, go through security. Okay, we're through security. So I'm trying to get my, um, I typically would keep like my ID in the back of my phone just so it's like always there, right? So you know how to get your ID out for the people, check to make sure it's fucking you. I open this. It pops my nail off. Not these nails. We'll get to that. I was not wearing these nails yesterday. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> Ugh, this is so fucking good. It pops off and I'm like, holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. I did not bring an extra. I literally did not bring an extra. So, I'm like, oh my god, I give the guy my ID, and <laughs> I don't message, I'm like, wait, wait. Luckily, there was nobody behind me, I was like, wait, I lost my nail. So, I'm, on, I'm like, looking around, I'm like, it's a red fucking nail, like, where is it? It was like, luckily, like, stuck on my shirt. So, I was like, okay, put it in my purse, 
I was like all glued on after security. I find the fucking nail after security. It took 30 minutes. I had to dump everything out of my bag to find the nail. We ended up finding the nail. Put it on, okay? Whatever. Then my flight gets delayed. And then it gets delayed. And then it gets delayed a third time. So I'm like, damn, like I already forgot my charger. I already did this. Lost my phone. My fucking nail popped off. Now we got now we got a fucking Are you kidding me? Is what I'm thinking. It's fine. Cause I'm gonna go to Vegas and I'm gonna make my mukbangs. Like, worst things could have happened, Maddie. Worst things could have happened. I keep telling myself, it could be worse, you know? Kept saying that and it just kept getting worse. <laughs> we get on the flight, whatever. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Get my plane videos. I always have to get a window seat and I always do plane videos. We touch down. I walk over to baggage claim to get my bags. They put my bag on the baggage claim so fucking stupidly. You know, like that little, like, how it goes around. So you know how, like, the bag comes down and it, it pushes up against that little black thing? Well, where I grabbed my fucking suitcase was literally, like, blocked. So I'm like, how do I get this bag out? Like, how do I get this bag out? So I'm like... Like panicking, people are around me. I fucking have social anxiety. I don't like to be around people. Like, I'm like, oh my God, people are staring at me because I'm str like, bitch, I'm struggling. So this nice man tries to help me. Well, why this nice man is trying to help me, he pops my nail off. He pops my fucking nail off. And I feel it. And he helps me get my bag, but he pops the fucking nail off. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I literally, I see it. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> So my sister, she comes out from the bathroom. I was like, oh my God. I was like, my nail fell off. She's like, what? She's like, where is it? I was like, in the baggage claim, bitch. Now let me tell you something, okay? We were getting rushed. We were getting rushed. My sister needed to be, since we're at a concert, she wanted to pre-buy merch, okay? My sister needed to be at this merch place before seven o'clock. They shut the doors at seven, right? We landed at six o'clock. We still have to go to the hotel, check into the hotel, all that stuff and then get there. Well, we literally made it to spare with five minutes to spare. So luckily, you know, we made it, okay? So I didn't get to find my nail on baggage claim. I let this carousel go around one time and I'm sitting there and I'm like, when I see it, I'm gonna pick that hoe up and I'm gonna fucking glue it back on. Guys, I couldn't find it. She just like totally rushed me and those were like, let me tell you, they were press-ons, okay? They were press-ons. I painted them, they were press-ons. Like, I probably should have fucking cemented them or didn't fucking acrylics or didn't fucking gel X. I probably should have done that. I like to do press-ons because then I can switch my nails, like, every five days because I'm a bored-ass bitch and I get bored very, very easily. I'm here and I wanted to make videos, right? So I have to make an Instagram post for this hotel. And I was like, I can't be missing a fucking nail. Like, that is so ratchet. I was like, I can't film. I can't do anything that I've been wanting to do. I can't make this mukbang with a broken nail. And you guys may be thinking about it. Yes, you can. That's fine. Like, we accept you. It's disgusting. I cannot stand. If there was a broken nail on me, I'm going to rip off every fucking nail. Because I would rather have no nails than to have a nails with one broke. I think it looks so... I just can't. I can't. It's a pet peeve of mine. I cannot do it. I can't. We had to go to cvs and i had to pray to the gods that they had nails and they did so these are my little press-ons that i got from kiss shout out kiss <laughs> guess what else happened you guys so today actually no let me tell you guys a story last night you guys last night you guys so we're walking down the strip right and there's this person ahead of me and like you know there's some crazy there's some wild people to vegas there's some wild people you know if you want to people watch come to vegas we're walking and i see this person ahead of me and i'm like they look like they have like like a white bandage wrapped all around like their entire head is covered in this white bandage they have like a nose cast on not even a nose cast it was like tape or something and then these black eyes like super black and purple eyes and look like there was like some blood like i was kind of like i see this person from behind right they turn one time and then like i end up passing them or whatever and I guess I like look back just like normally I have sunglasses on so you literally can't even see you can't even see who I'm looking at nothing This person that was like this okay, you know when like somebody's just like not right in their head or you can just tell something's off about the sex situation I was just like what's going on. Are you just like cosplaying? Did you just get surgery? Are you being like sex? I don't it was a weird it was a very just like my sister didn't even see it, it was a really, really weird vibe right so whatever I look back just to kind of be like okay like is this person okay like why do they have this white band you know what I'm saying where I like literally 10 seconds later like something is thrown at me I think this bitch threw a fucking grape at me for looking at her like this girl I think she literally threw a grape at me and like honestly like I would like turn around and be like bitch what the fuck but at first I thought it was just my sister because she was behind me and I thought oh she just banged me but like no straight something was thrown at me so I think that this girl literally threw a fucking grape at me why I don't fucking know she was like definitely on crack she was on something she was being like weird and she was like like 
eating her grapes and she was kind of just like looking around like being very like the girl was very off vibes okay she was very off vibes so even if she threw a grape at me i couldn't have turned around because she probably would have fucking stabbed me or something i don't know people in vegas are scary today what have i done today i went to go try this one lobster potato that was literally 25 dollars <laughs> It was a 25 fucking dollar baked potato. A baked potato that you can buy at the grocery store for one dollar. It was 25 dollars. It was good. I made a TikTok on it. Um, I don't know if I, I want to post it to YouTube Shorts, but I haven't posted any type of video yet. I literally just made it today. I haven't even like looked at the footage. If it's even focused, I don't even fucking know. I want to post it on YouTube Shorts, but the only issue with that is like it was like in the mall and it was blaring music. This annoying ass music. If, um, but so today, you guys, I was getting ready because I was like. I gotta post an Instagram photo. I, I wanted to take an Instagram photo here anyways. I just feel like, you guys know I have my clubbing clothes. <laughs> For a girl that don't club, <laughs> I have a lot of clubbing clothes. But I just love it, okay? Like, here's the thing. I love the whole nightlife. And I think I would go out more if I didn't have anxiety. But I just genuinely have anxiety. And it used to be the times that I would go out, I would feel someone staring at me. I just want to say preface. I love meeting you guys honestly like i would not have anything i would not do anything like seriously if it was not for like this is my dream like i'm living you guys are helping me fulfill my childhood dream of being a fucking youtuber you know what i'm saying i have this social anxiety like i have such a, and i used to never be this way like in high school i was like the most social butterfly everything and then i just like started to become a hermit crab and like now i have a social anxiety and, like i just cannot have conversations with people and like it just like makes me feel like i feel like people constantly think that i'm fucking weird so there was one time I went to the club. I felt like this girl was staring at me. I kind of like look at her and I just like smile. Cause I'm not a mean person at all. And she's like, oh my God, I love your videos. I love you, like all this stuff. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. Like, what's your name? You're so sweet, you know? And she was the sweetest girl ever. She really was. But then I got stared at for the remainder of the time. And you know, like when you're like at the club and you're just like in your own element. I want to be able to pick my nose if I want to pick my nose. Okay, <laughs> I want to be able to pick my nose if I want to pick my nose, okay? And I couldn't because the girl was staring at me the entire time. So I told my friend, I was like, we have to leave. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Because then the entire group that she was with, like 20 people deep, were all looking at me too. Y'all, they also scammers here for real. Every single one of these menu items, like if I was to buy this in Arizona, it would not be what I spent today. Every single one of their item menus, I guess it, it makes sense, I get it. But I'm also like, I don't get it. They like charge everything $4 like each more. So like, say like, Let's pretend that these mozzarella sticks would be fucking $9.99. Well, babe, they're $14.99 now. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, they add, like, $4, like, onto the thing. Yeah, I just can't. Can't do it. Mm. These pretzels, you guys. Because I'm addicted to the Buffalo Wild Wings pretzels. They are so freaking good, but they only give you, like, four. And they're, like, they're probably, like, that big. Four. I might as well buy this stuff because it came with all of these plus this big thing of cheese. And at Buffalo Wild Wings, they literally give you a cheese this big. What the fuck is that supposed to do to me? Buffalo Wild Wings, if you're watching this video, sponsor me, girl, because I love you. You do be scamming me, but I love you. And I, I obviously keep going back. Okay, you guys, the camera is blinking. It's blinking. It's literally flashing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that this was kind of like, there were so many things that went wrong and you guys just saw that, okay? But you know, I just could not let this fail. I couldn't because if this failed, I would be right there sobbing, like literally sobbing. Like, yeah. So yeah, comment down below what you guys would like to see next. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.